Hi guys, welcome to Big Wendy. Wendy, and we're, we're Wendy. Wendy. Welcome back to our channel, guys. We're so lucky and so grateful to have you guys here today. If you're watching this, thank you for tuning in. We love you we so love much you. and keep on watching our videos. Yes. Yeah. So today, today we want to talk about. Please ignore the background. We're outside and our estate yeah. has a children. lot of children. Yeah, they've yeah. not opened school yet. Yeah, not most of them. Yeah. So we want to talk about it's Today. going to be a broad topic yeah it's it we're going to talk about ladies who don't want to have kids yeah is, is, it, it, being is, it, selfish? is it being selfish that you don't want to have children and, uh, <clears throat> is it for okay ladies who want to have kids but they're afraid of being pregnant and having the whole labor issue is it okay to have a surrogate yeah. and we also want to ask each other if we can be surrogates yeah. so yeah, yeah. So don't touch that dial do not move <laughs> Don't. So yeah, let's start with ladies who don't want to be pregnant. Yeah, guys. Okay. Is it being selfish? Mm, okay, you know I had this discussion on TV yesterday, and at some point, the people who say it's selfish and the people who say it's not selfish. So it's a yeah. There are these women who are extremely successful. You know, yeah. like you, your business is running well, you're making your money on a daily basis, and you feel like when you get pregnant, you'll have to divert all your attention yeah. away from your business yeah, yeah. and come to now starting a baby so it changes your whole life so which is some, true your yeah it the is baby true. becomes selfish yeah they so, take all your time yeah your energy. they do uh, yeah for us we are really struggling yeah so balance the guys who say they wouldn't want to get pregnant because they don't want to stop living their normal lives you know not that having a baby is abnormal but it will yeah. spoil their whole routine, your routine. you know the people who are so like they are workaholics you know they are so people the people their work is their home. so they can't imagine having another baby come in and replace their actual baby that they yeah. loved first you know so for people like this yes like being pregnant becomes like a selfish thing you know yeah. like they become selfish like no hey, me you guys are going to have a baby and then the people you see they are not ready for this whole responsibility yeah okay for me what i'd say i think it's not selfish it's actually being reasonable yeah because it's not good for you to bring in a baby and if you you're not be there for them. Don't bring in a baby and that and forget not... and forget your duties as a mother mm -hmm. or a father. Do not. So that is why we advocate for if you're not ready to get pregnant, man. Abstain. Don't do it. Abstain. Don't have sex. Because it requires or, a lot of energy. protection. Yeah, it requires a lot of There's a lot of yeah work that goes And don't being don't pregnant. leave your this thing about. At you got you get your baby, no, especially for the young moms. We get our children, and then you leave your mom with the baby. No. And then your baby, the baby now, now knows your mom as the mother. And, and then you you just Wendy. That's you know. Nice. It's not nice. You guys. Be like, You're supposed to be like this is like be there for your baby, have an attachment with your baby. You know. Yeah. Like, this is very important. So <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, we wouldn't want you to bring in a child. And you won't take care of the baby. It's not good to let to leave you, the baby to your parents it's entirely. Not. And you're not working. It's not about you know. And you the times you're working, mm -hmm. circumstances have forced you. Yeah. It is okay. But but still make effort to always call and talk to your child and have a relationship with them. Cause I don't think my parents have done their part by raising me. I don't want them to come and start raising my baby again. Mm -hmm. And it's not it's not their responsibility. Generally, it's my work. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because you can think about this like your parents are paying your fees, you still have food to eat. So yeah. You're eating, you're eating for two for you and your baby. Like, 
any transport you need let's say if your boyfriend is not supporting you if you need transport to go to the hospital you need to pay for vaccines you know all the things so the expensive. diapers baby's clothes and yeah. all that and then on top of that you come and leave the baby with your parents you're not even taking care of the i think guys it's not really fair yeah let, let's not even talk about be it. a young mom and enjoy it and that is why we're actually here we yeah. show you how you can go out with your baby and enjoy it yeah but some you have to make some sacrifices like just have a relationship with your baby that's the best part Don't, of it all. yeah it's it really actually. matters so eh, so oh yeah we can also say that it's also selfish for those guys who don't want to bring a baby into this world, because we are looking at both sides it. it is selfish in the sense that eh, and in the sense that your mom brought you into this world yeah why don't you want to bring someone else yeah. why don't you want to there's that like, aspect uh, yeah, now that you've said it I've, I've, I've always like doing something yeah you know like as a woman you're a natural you're someone who's supposed to love. naturally yeah, yeah. it's just in your being like you love you help someone grow you know why would you rather help your boyfriend these guys who come and like you help them come up then they leave you you'd rather help someone like that than helping your own blood you know helping your own baby come up as in an agro you see you take them to school they like, you see your baby is extraordinary and you're just like oh my god this is my child you yeah know? i know like for me when i see my baby even smile for the first time i was like as oh in, my yeah, god those small small, small like, milestones just yeah. make everything worth it you know so at for me at some point it is selfish for you. like why wouldn't you want to bring someone into See. this world what if your mom said i miss taki even me i'm selfish i don't want to have a baby you wouldn't so be in the first place you wouldn't have that job that you're dying so hard for you know mm-hmm. these are just like worldly things you yeah. know but a baby is like this is a blessing from god you have you've been given the gift <laughs> actually let me just put it like this god has given you the gift of, of bringing womb. life into this world imagine it's something As so crazy the man was to work and toil and you is to become a bearer you need to become a, a, yeah. a, a mother to nurture someone i mean it is your god given right to give birth and have kids so yeah. why wouldn't you you know <coughs> so for me it's also selfish yeah It's You're selfish. being very, very selfish, not bringing a child into this world. Okay, well, for me, as much as there's that aspect of being selfish, there's that aspect of being selfish, just not being a baby you can't take care of. That's, that's all yeah, I can't that's say. Yeah, that's actually issue. You don't know you do can't it. take care of the baby. Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay. It's okay. Don't listen to Saudi. So, like, I'm not going to say anything. No, no, no. If you feel you can't, if you can't, me, or if you want to bring in a child and make them work for you, that is the worst thing yeah. ever. You work for your child. Your child should work for their child, and their child should work for their child. Yeah. It shouldn't be me working for my parents. Don't give birth to a child and be like, "We went to a school and we had to pay for school." Yeah. Then you sacrifice everything. You struggle. And then when they say, "We went to a school and we had to pay for your family," yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, if this baby doesn't become what you wanted them to be, you become bitter. Yeah, you become and bitter. And you'll be like releasing all these things mm-hmm. on this baby, and it's not the baby's fault, to be honest. Yeah. He or she didn't. And don't ask. reflect your dreams on your child yeah, because. Don't. Let them let them be there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, secondly about being a surrogate. About you, having a surrogate. Oh yeah, it is a is it okay to have a surrogate? Well, I think it's fine. Mm. If you have the money to take care of another lady because you know with a surrogate you have to take care of what they eat every day. Mm. You have to pay the hospital bills, you'll have to take them for checkup every time they are having checkup and everything. If you have the finances, my friend, you well, do I, you. But let me tell. You. Okay, f- personally, I really don't have a surrogate because I've I've experienced the the process of being a mom, and I even the pains we had at that time. I, it's worth it yeah, in my head. Like, oh my God, my baby is she's everything. Yeah. And as a woman, that pain can't kill you. Mm. For those people afraid of the pain, you are going to take that out. pain. That pain, <coughs> you'll actually manage. Mm. It's not something that can kill you unless not there's complications but it's not the pain what that kills mm. yeah so i feel like if you don't have a surrogate well and good but it would be if you if you don't have a problem with having a woman bearing children i would prefer it if you care, if you if did, you did it, yourself. it yourself yeah, yeah. you you will it's not at least it's, it's like not the so experiences expensive. are okay you know people become surrogates not because they want to but because they need the money Oh yeah, this that's why people become most people become surrogates because you can't tell me you'll be 
willing as a person to add weight to go through for someone method, for someone you don't carry, even know exactly for someone you don't know if you don't actually mm. need that money you know there's some people who will say to you, oh you know i love having because at the end of the day when you give birth to this child you're not even allowed to carry this child and my yeah, you had a connection with this baby because yeah. this baby was inside you you know how this like you're giving this baby to someone who has no idea how this baby behaved in the womb. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, just yeah. taking this baby, and this is like the fa- it's like they're being pregnant for the first time. They don't know what to expect, and then they know nothing about, about this child. Uh, so for them, it's like a new thing. But for you, you've gone through. Okay, for me personally, I don't think I can be a surrogate. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know to be honest. If it's for someone I love, like my sister, I'd probably do That's it. That's what I wanted to say. Or for my mom, I don't think I'd probably I'd be a, a surrogate for but a stranger. But for a stranger, no. no. But for a friend who really? is in need, yeah. like if I find a friend can't bear children mm. and they really need someone, and probably they're working on a budget, mm. they can't afford one, I will, I will gladly do it for my friend. Yeah, because and at the end of the day, friends. the really close ones, Squadinho. Squadinho. <laughs> the Squadinho. Yeah, so, so guys, yeah, because yeah, hey, it's a lot. It's a lot being pregnant. And imagining, me, I couldn't imagine I'm giving birth to this child and I'm seeing them being taken, taken away. away. I'm yeah. not even talking. And then you just come back home and live your life like nothing ever happened. And for nine months of your life, you are with another human being. It's so hard. It's for me, I believe it's really, really hard. But if, yeah, if you see you can't, like, you really, really want to have your own baby and you don't want to adopt. Uh, you can get a surrogate, but if you can adopt, please do. Maybe adopt. can you adopt? Yeah, I mean, I can adopt Same. a baby. Okay. Hey, I can adopt a baby by day, to be honest. Just to be able to give someone hope that they can a be in a family life, yeah. and have a better life, I would totally do that. I will adopt as many as possible. As long as you can manage financially. Yeah, it's okay. So don't mm-hmm. adopt. Also, don't adopt a baby if you can't take care because they're from. Oh, we're talking about she. That don't bring yeah, them into more problems. You know. They feel like if you adopt them, you're giving them hope yeah. for a better life. Yeah, so I think that's basically that's it. That's a wrap, yeah. yeah. If you guys have any opinions, opinions that are different tell from us. ours, please comment. go ahead and comment, comment in the comments. And tell us. And we'll yeah. be sure to And if you have more them. ideas for our channel, you can hit us oh, up on guys, our Guys, also if you have questions, please make sure you put those questions in the comments yeah, and we'll be we'll sure to do a Q&A down. video yeah at some point maybe. yeah oh and also don't worry guys i'm so sure you guys are wondering who we are okay not really who we are but what we've been doing with our lives so we're also going to do like get to know us video yeah. so that you can actually know us from sequetum that one you think we're strangers so yeah i think that's it for today make sure to like comment share and subscribe and join the videos guys. on mondays and fridays yeah every monday and friday we'll Ni pe ingine. Tafutafutia. Ya maana enyi inandika hivi.